Social lockdown and isolation have dramatically impacted many businesses and industries. With everyone forced to stay inside and isolate, the live entertainment industry has been left behind for now. I think it's dramatically impacted all, all kinds of live art, certainly, you know, theatre and, and uh, concerts and, and just, you know, pub gigs have just been completely wiped out. Although the livelihoods of performers have been put on hold, there are some artists, like Byron Davis and his band, who are using their time in isolation as a chance to create. I think it's really stimulating a lot of creativity in a lot of people, and, and it did in us, certainly. There, there were songs and choices we made on the EP that we wouldn't have if we weren't in the positions that, that we were in um, at the time it all happened. Byron and his band The Bandcrofts used isolation as a chance to record an EP. Titled Live from the Bedroom, the band independently recorded and released the five-track album on all music streaming services. It was really strange um, to be recording with the band, you know, putting in their, their different parts, but with people not actually physically here, not being able to, to physically, you know, say, uh, we want this thing or that thing, or can you try this and, you know, whatever. It was very challenging and, and interesting. On top of creating new art and content, there are some who are continuing to keep artists connected like Panama, a creative networking company. Pre-isolation, they would host public events after a theatre show and get new artists interacting and connecting with each other. However, due to the global pandemic, Panama has also been forced to adapt. The whole arts industry, of course, has just been decimated. Theatre companies have been really hanging on and we don't know how many theatre companies are going to come out the other end. So for us, without these physical spaces, the challenge was, well, how do you get... <laughs> artists to continue networking with each other and how do you facilitate an industry where it relies so heavily on, on these other companies to sort of hold it together. Panamo has adapted to an online approach by creating a Facebook group from their page where artists can once again get a chance to network. With a group of people who are interested in having in-depth discussions on creative topics such as is this the most creative time in decades, Panamo have managed to facilitate constructive debates with artists online. On top of this, they have also developed an online program called Backdoor Book Club, which gives writers a chance to develop scripts and projects to eventually be made when restrictions are lifted. We get writers to send us their scripts and then we send them to, to the people involved in the Panama community. Uh, they read them and then a few days later we'll all connect on Zoom uh, and the writer will be there and we'll just talk about the script. This initiative gives writers an opportunity to get constructive feedback from actors, other writers and directors. What I'm really proud of, I guess, and, and what we're striving towards is um, different ways to include these artists and make sure that they still have something to do. Whether it's using this time to create something new or interacting digitally with other artists, many in the creative industries are still working to be productive during these difficult times. I'm Carl Beattie, reporting for WS News.